I can't call them by their biological sex constantly, knowing about it rolls them up as banter. Knowing that it winds them up and it pisses them off, I don't know, I don't care. I find it funny that it winds them up and I should be able to wind them up as much as I want. Why shouldn't I be able to wind them up? They want to be treated equal to everybody else. I can be wound up. I do get wound up by gay people, as we've just, uh, as you agreed with 10, 20 minutes ago. Gay people from all, and, and people from all types of communities can wind me up about my belief in God, my heterosexuality, my wife. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Also, my, my belief systems and all that sort of stuff. And I take it on the chin. So if trans people want to be treated equally, I should be able to wind them up on equal merits. If I know it's winding them up and, and, and they don't like it. I'm glad that you're a big tough guy and you can take insults on the chin, all right? Not everyone can be like you, but in knowing that and empathizing with the fact that other humans are different from you, if you know that you're causing <clears throat> harm to someone and you know that that will harm them in the long run or contribute to their downfall in some regard, I would call you a weirdo for fantasizing that. And, and do you think banter and words can cause harm? I think it depends on your intent. If you're just shooting your shit and joking around and you're like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to like offend you. I was just joking around. That's different than if I'm always going to, I'm always going to address you by your sex, no matter what, because I know that that's going to harm you. <clears throat> no, that's going to rile you up. And that makes me happy. Like, uh, <laughs> like that's different. <laughs> well, let's just say that was an added bonus. Let's just say I, Always acknowledge people by their biological sex if it's known and verified and, it, you know, whatever. Like, that's part of who I am. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I won't be myself if I have to call what I know to be a biological man a woman or a female or some sort of feminine pronouns. I would be diminishing my soul, chipping away of it. So... It's just best for them not to be my friend and never engage with me, isn't it? Like, yeah, then to expect anything from me. Because why should I diminish and degrade myself for other people? I, I'm, I, I believe in the ability to separate yourself from society. You know, if you want to behave in a way that makes you most super disliked in society, that's your right to do so, right? And I believe that's what the trans people are doing. The people, the trans people are having the surgery and expecting other people to adhere to their pronouns, right? Yeah, they are being marginalised. They're being marginalised and pushed out of society. Do you not agree? Well, first of all, they're like less than one percent of the population in the United States. So I don't know why this. Whole so there can't be. So there can't be any professionals. There can't be any professionals when it comes to the. There can't be any professionals in the world when it comes to the topic of trans. Because there's not enough known about it. I don't know what that means. You was trying to say earlier that, like, take your child to professionals and you should agree with the professionals. The, the write-up says if you take a child to professionals and you don't agree with the professionals, then that child should be taken away from parents and stuff like that. But you've just agreed, or you've just established... What my hypothetical was. you just established that there isn't even enough known about the phenomenon of trans. For there to be any professionals. United States a lot. Yeah, so I, I don't know why you're like saying that that's not enough. I'm, it is enough. I, the reason why I said 1% is because you are acknowledging that your beliefs are separating you from the rest of society. No. And, and knowing that you don't think that your views are going to alienate yourself in social circles no not at all i i believe that your notion of society doesn't even exist it's a figment of your imagination you've replaced <laughs> yeah your figment of society only exists in your head in your head alone it doesn't exist anywhere else but in your mind in the bigger picture if enough people think the same thing about society then they're going to act on how that is and, and there's no way be what dictates society and there's no way on earth malleable Thing. There's no way on earth that you or anyone else could prove what anyone else thinks. 